<coughs> Excuse me. Hate to start the uh, video with a hawking, but you know, just as I started, I'm not going to delete it and start over. So anyway, today we are installing um, mini blinds. I don't know if you can see this or not. This is the only window I got left. There you go. Project Source mini blinds from Lowe's. These are the cordless. I have no idea why anybody would buy a cord corded uh, mini blind anymore. These things are great. So anyway, this is a 35 by 64. I can't remember what I measured this at, window at, but anyway, they're the one inch. I think these are like 20 bucks or something. So when you get it, you open it, uh, you'll have these brackets. You have this box. We'll have your screws in there. I'm not real crazy about these little screws. Um, sometimes I do, will use a longer sheetrock screw if I have to. Uh, I don't worry about holding the weight because there's not hardly anything there. Obviously, if they think that these little things will hold it, and they will, then that's just cute rock screws fine. So anyway, this one already had mini blinds. There's where the old brackets were. Right there. Um, now, some of the, you can mount them on this side. I do not like those like that. I don't like them this deep, but since this is where the header is, and out here is nothing but sheetrock because I found out on one of the other windows I was going to move, move them out because I don't like them sunk in like that. Well, this is just sheetrock. So I imagine there's studs here, here, and here instead of a solid header like really should have been. But anyway, um, this is a rental and um, this is the way the landlord wants it. So this is the way you get it. I'll put them right here, right here. And... Um, Again, I'm filming this with one hand, so be patient with me. Um, there is no way I can I can put that on there. Your mini blinds are in here. I uh, temporarily thought I'd try to put a bracket in there, but I know better. You know, Dirty Harry always says, man's got to know his limitations. So um, anyway, there's a the mini blind. Now, when you get the brackets in there, and you, you notice these brackets have adjustment. So, get them where you want. I like, like I say, two inches, about two inches from then. I cannot see. There we go. Two inches from the sides, about that. Don't have to be exact. Um, I put my screws right in the middle. This way, your brackets can, you have a little adjustment. Some of them may not be square and, and like that. So, um... But try to get your screws in there. Now, if you screw it in and your screw keeps turning, you just hit sheetrock. Um, you need your screw into the header. Um, or else your mini blinds are going to come down sooner or later. Probably sooner rather than later. Like I say, they do have mounting holes to, to mount to the sides. And um, I may have to trim this one. And I may have wished that I'd done that, but I'm still going to put them in there, even if I have to trim it. So let me let me um, get these brackets in place, and I'll show you what's next. Okay, got the brackets in. Now, one thing you want to make sure of when you put these brackets, stand back and make sure that they're square. Uh, because if they're not, you're going to have a real tough time clipping your blind in there. Um, and as you can see, if I wanted to go back more, I'd have plenty of adjustments right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. By the way, check out the, these things was all cracked. And I fixed them. Sheet rock repair. Yep. Here's the outside. Now, now the, oh, I cannot put this on. Oh, give me just a second. Cannot put these on single handedly. It takes like three people to put these on though, really. The front of this, I need some more stuff in my way. Okay, let me show you. This right here has a little hook on it. It's gonna hook in under, under this lip right here. Then the bottom is going to snap in right here. Um, and it does take two hands for me to do it. Um, so let me get this in and we'll see what it looks like when I get done. Yeah. 
And there we go, sports fans. It's just that easy. Probably 10 minutes to do this. Um, these Again, these are the cordless. I don't know why anybody buy a cord. There's a mailman. Uh-oh. No one's here, Mr. Mailman. Anyway, <laughs> um, love these things. You know, and they're really inexpensive. And um, so easy to go up. Um, DIYer, if you're a handyman, these things will make you some good money putting these up. Just don't undercharge yourself. So anyway, that's how you do it. Didn't have to trim this one. Yes. Um, just put three of them up and um, making pretty good money on these. So anyway, um, hey, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe. Put it on your playlist. And hey, check out my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook pages. If you're not uh, um, following or um, subscribed yet, please do that. And uh, just check this out. Uh, that's how you're going to install your Project Source one inch vinyl mini blinds, the cordless. They don't have wands. And why anybody would buy an old cord corded one with a wand now is beyond me. But here you go. Thank you all for watching. Donald, Blue Collar, DIY.com. I'm out.